Now, South Africa is facing an unprecedented socio-ecological crisis. Its water reserves are drastically low. A report now looks into the issue of deforestation and the water shortage in the country. Well, let's delve further into this complex topic with Professor Main Van Nordwijk. He's the Chief Science Advisor and Distinguished Research Fellow at the World Agroforestry Center. When, when we did this report, we realized that in the past, people might have thought that without forest there would not be water and there was an overstatement of the importance of forest for rainfall and climate and that has been rejected by much of the scientists and it led to a situation that forests are almost absent in any current discussions on water as a sustainable development goal. Now the, the current science points at an important role of vegetation for rainfall. Half the rainfall over land comes is recycled from land itself and the other half comes from the ocean. Depends very much on where you are on the globe, how the ratio is. But we do think that a, a much there is a much better understanding now of the role of, of forest and vegetation in rainfall than there was 25 years ago when the climate change convention took shape. And there's good reason now to have a much more direct look at what forests do and what the change a forest can do for patterns of precipitation or, or rainfall. And of course you also point out the fact that governments and stakeholders globally uh, who want to achieve the sustainable uh, development goals which are related of course to the 2030 agenda, they must take a, a multi-benefits approach. How so? Well, um, I think the, the real opportunity of the sustainable development goal is that we see it as a portfolio yeah, and, and not as uh, 18 separate things that each have their own ministry fighting for them, etc. It is the integration that we come. So we see a real opportunity to, uh, to bridge between the way water is so far treated from the perspective of we want clean water for everybody, but we don't really know where it comes from and the climate debate that says, well, it's all about carbon and, and, and global climate. And yes, that influences water, but we don't know the connection between. Uh, we think these connections are much clearer than that. And they are actually understood by people on the ground in much better ways than they understand issues of, of carbon emissions and climate in that way. So there's a real opportunity to link the local concerns about water, local concerns about trees and forest to these agendas at the higher scale. What would be some examples of the success stories or examples of policies uh, that you would address, that you would see address this issue? Well, one, one example, and that is um, in terms of this recycling of rainfall, the, the, the relevance of maintaining forest cover for rainfall is pretty well understood when we talk about the Amazon, when we talk about the relations between Brazil and, and Argentina, for example. But there are similar rel relations in Africa that are not yet well understood. But from the current science, we, we realize that, that most of the rainfall in the Nile Basin or in the Blue Nile that feeds Sudan and Egypt is recycled water that has come in from the Congo Basin and from East Africa. Yeah, so if we don't understand that, uh, we have, of course, we have a century of history of trying to manage watersheds, but we now realize that watersheds start with assuming that rainfall is there um, and we can no longer take for granted that rainfall will be there unless we understand where the water in the rainfall comes from. Well, then in Africa we say, well, what happens in the Congo Basin may well have an impact on what happened, the water availability in Ethiopia and, and, and by reference in, in Egypt. Now, those are relations that are not represented in the current discussion. We don't have the OAU talking about that in that way. But we have a, a common but differentiated responsibility for maintaining forest cover, maintaining vegetation in that role that it has always had. And that's probably a much more direct way of influencing climate than what people think about.